Nola Gent here coming to you from the Dixie Brewery. We're going to be picking up a limited edition four pack of the Dixie Special Limited Edition Brews of Bayou King, Dice, Datsuma, and Lucky Mucker. Dixie Brewery, thank you very much. They gave me a free sampler beer of the Lucky Mucker. But they were giving everybody a free beer that day to sample their new craft beer. And they have t-shirts you can buy too. So just a little thank you uh, to Dixie Brewery. Um, they're not sponsoring this or anything, but they did give me a free beer, but everybody was getting a free beer. So Dixie Brewery, much appreciated for the free beer. Welcome to NOLA Gent. Let the good times roll. Dixie Brewery, limited edition, four pack of their limited brew beers. Are they going to be terrible or will they be good? We're going to check them out. But it's very risky as Dixie Beer does not have a long history with making beer like this. Well, I just got back from a jog. And I figured it's about time I try my new Dixie beer that I got out at the brewery. It's one of their limited edition special brews that they're doing out there. This is the Bayou Strong beer. So let's check it out. Well, that is a decent head on top of it. With our Bayou King Belgian Golden Strong Ale with a 10.2% alcohol by volume. So maybe if I drink enough of this, I get the buff body. Let's see, how's it gonna taste? Hmm. This has been on the refrigerator for three days and I uh, thought it would be colder than this, but um, hmm, interesting. It's got a nice, even, balanced flavor to it, especially for a beer with such a high alcohol content. Um, a lot of times when beer gets up to this high of an alcohol content, it's certainly got a bit more of a burn to it. This is very smooth and easy to drink. That is refreshing after a jog. Ah. Well, Dixie beer. I would say you've got a pretty good uh, beer and a winner with this one. I like this one. Cheers to our Dixie Brewery with the Bayou King. And cheers to all of you out there. So, I uh, just got back from a two mile jog and then jumped in the shower and just got out and slicked my hair back as uh, it is getting pretty long. It's been quite a while without a haircut now with all of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic coronavirus social distancing uh, with no barber shops being open. It's getting a little long while the bully up there and uh, down here too. So. I've been putting this off to uh, try the uh, Datsuma beer, which is a Satsuma flavored beer. Satsumas are a Louisiana uh, citrus fruit that grows all throughout New Orleans and further south in Louisiana. It's uh, essentially a mandarin orange, uh, but we do our own language and call it a Satsuma, but they, they've been around for years. I grew up eating them. So I was a little uh, hesitant to try this one though because I'm not big into fruit beers. I, I do like the Lindemann's 
uh, fruit beers that have a pretty strong fruit flavor, actually, whereas I'm not a fan of Abita's uh, Raspberry Purple Haze beer, for example. I love the rest of Abita Ambers, but I don't like that one beer. The taste just that uh, doesn't work for me. Um, I've also never really liked uh, fruit being squeezed into my beer, the whole like uh, Texas Mexican thing where they want to squeeze a lime into my beer. I, I just don't know. Do not do that. Uh, I lived in Austin for a little while after Hurricane Katrina and they were always trying to squeeze fruit in my beer. I did not like that. So eh, eh, eh. say no, no fruit in my beer. But let's see what a Satsuma beer tastes like. Uh, it's smelling more like beer than Satsuma, so we'll see. Um, Dixie also posted that they plan on planting Satsuma trees at the brewery to maybe make this uh, a yearly annual release of their beer. Okay, well, there we go. It's got a nice head forming right there. Um, it's maybe a little sacrilegious to be uh, serving this in my beta glass here, but it was the only clean beer glass that we had to use, so. All right, Dixie, if you wanna send me a beer glass, I'll be happy to take it. I did buy one of your shirts out at the uh, brewery. And uh, the four pack here that we've been sampling and going through. So let's uh, give this a little taste and see how the Datsuma is. Smells a uh, little, little slight citrus scent with some hops in there I'm detecting. Really a uh, very understated citrus flavor. I don't taste, but just a hint of it actually. So the, uh, the hops they've used in here are really balancing this out. It's not the uh, very strong fruit flavor you often get in some beers these days. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. I can't actually drink this. Um, Good job, Dixie. This is actually a drinkable fruit beer, especially, uh, you know, Satsuma Citrus can have a stronger flavor profile. I think balance this out quite well. So, cheers. <laughs> so, now we're going to try the Dixie Beer Da Ice, which is. 5.9% alcohol. We'll be putting it into ein Mass Deutschland München Hopbrauhaus. I'd rather uh, have some Hopbrau beer in here, I think, myself, but we'll give this a try. Maybe this will uh, pass the muster and come up to my high German beer standards. Oh, ho, ho. Let's see what we get here. Prost. Try. Well, I'd say it's um, quite crisp and refreshing. It's far better than I thought it was going to be. So, um, hmm. I like it. So, it's a uh, pretty darn good beer. Hmm. It's got a very nice, smooth flavor profile. Uh, it seems like this would be very good on a hot summer day, especially. Get a little more of this. Mm. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Now I don't think I'll be drinking this at Oktoberfest. However, uh, the flavor profile is not that far off from good German beers and Munich. 
Ah, the alcohol content's a little bit weaker though. All right, so I've got my Dixie Brewery Lucky Mucker. That will be going into a ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho Corona glass. Because it is an Irish brew and only the Irish might have the power to overcome the Corona. Now I have a couple of uh, Irish grandmothers and an Irish grandfather uh, on my father's side in the past, but direct descent, I'm Scottish by the Norman invasion of 1066. I'm one of those Norman people, but we also invaded Ireland, so it's okay. We're just uh, waiting along until the uh, next invasion. Don't worry, UK. We'll come in, take over again, unite you all, make it all a happy United Kingdom again. Hmm, it's very uh, dark. Almost as dark as a Guinness, but the uh, head on it isn't quite as creamy and foamy. Hmm. Looky there. More of a bass type English uh, head on the top. Uh, that's a little more tan, but even the bass probably has a little bit more of a white head on it than this. Let's see. Ho ho ho! All right. Well, it's uh, certainly got more of a Guinness uh, mixed with a bass sort of flavor, even. Hmm. So, Lucky Mucker Stout and a Lucky Mucker shirt from the Dixie Brewery. So, uh, right now, they did give me one of these free, and then I've got another one in a four pack that they're selling out there. It's one of their limited edition brews, so cheers. And uh, hey, don't remember, don't remember any of the, the talk we had. The Normans are not coming to get you. <laughs> or are we? Look out. We're taking your beers. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. All right, uh, thanks, Dixie Beer. Making good stuff out there. If you would like to follow me on Yelp, I have thousands of pictures and reviews on there. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram for more photos. And please like this video and subscribe to the Nolajet channel. We would also love it if you would help us out on Patreon and help the channel continue to uh, have more content produced. Thank you very much.